Hello everyone and welcome to yet another Digimon Vital Bracelet news video. Yes, another one. As the youth would say, we be eating good as Digimon fans. In fact, at this point I feel like we are overeating as Digimon fans, so please somebody please stop us, Bandai, you are, you are drowning us. So I'm also going to be ripping off Digital Dream Alex again by drinking as I uh, do this video. So that's exciting, this is my one of my favourite drinks uh, other than scotch and whiskey. Uh, this is something that I feel like only came to Australia a little bit ago, but it's my favourite drink when I'm in Japan. They are, they're not a sponsor. But they should be, uh, but in the uh, ones that I have in Japan are about twice as big and they cost about a dollar for a one twice as big and uh, a four pack costs about 22 Australian dollars here and they are tiny. So uh, the price of alcohol is expensive in Australia is basically some that in summary. So I'm also going to be unboxing some fan mail from long time audience and listener and viewer or whatever you call them, Lonely Distance. So that's exciting. I'm going to be doing it in the light box behind me after this uh, news recap video. So stay tuned for that. So in any case, the news today, the main part of the news today, is that we got more information about the Digimon 25th anniversary Vital Bracelet. And I was kind of impressed that I was actually completely correct about what this is. So first of all, the there's a DIM card will, that will be sold separately from the Vital Bracelet, and the DIM card will be similar to what we saw with the Tamagotchi Smart, is that it is the roster that has the monochrome sprites rather than the full colour sprites, so it'll be the retro Agumon, for example, similar to how we have the retro Tamagotchi card, smart cards. So it's similar to that, but it's dissimilar in the way that it's actually going to be sold separately and it appears to be a normal release. So the main body is the Vital Bracelet. It'll be based on the BE rather than the Digivice V or just the Digital Monster Vital Bracelet. So that's cool too, but more excitingly and something that I, I kind of predicted as a semi-joke, but it's going to have like a brick shell design. Now it's not super clear what comes in this. It does say you get a set, whether it means you get a set as in you get one vital bracelet with either a red frame or a gray frame and then the dim card, or if it means you get two frames, a regular B vital bracelet BE and the dim card, I'm not sure. So from what we can tell, the Vital Bracelet BE with this brick pattern looks a little bit thicker than the regular Vital Bracelet BE, which is thinner than the regular Vital Bracelet. So I'm kind of wondering if it's like a shell you put on top of your Vital Bracelet BE. I'm not sure. It looks kind of thick. And honestly, it'd be kind of cool if it was like a protective shell for your Vital Bracelet BE. So imagine if it was just like your Vital Bracelet BE comes with a, a protective case in the style of a, a uh, an original brick. So the two colours are obviously you get your brown and your grey. So that's pretty exciting. And I was completely right about it, which was honestly surprising. And uh, yeah, so the DIM card will be sold separately at a later date. That's cool. If you don't want the BE, if, it's, if, if it is just a brick coloured BE that's thicker and you just want a regular BE, it means you can get the DIM at a later date. That This is good news. It also means that it's not going to be as hard to come by as the Tamagotchi version, which was give lottery giveaway only, and it was the white body with the smart card that came with it, and you couldn't buy the smart card separately, which means you couldn't have the retro-style characters unless you had this. So, of course, it's about twice, maybe three times as expensive as a regular smart, and... A lot of people didn't get it because it was too much, but this one seems to be a normal release. Pre-orders open in late July, they're not open yet, we don't know when the release date is, and we don't know the price as far as I can tell, but pre-orders do open in just a little bit over a month away. So that's really exciting, that's the first bit of news today. We also had news about a D-Scanner and a brick in the form of two silhouettes in the shape of a D-Scanner and a brick. By brick, I mean uh, the very typical uh, Digimon original brick. Same as the DM20th, same as the DMX, just a brick. 
So this could be a few things. This could, and I'm kind of hoping for this, it could be a re-release of the Ver Revival, which was the DM 20th, but uh, with a few quality of life improvements, such as there's no, there's no nap mode, there's just a freezer mode, which pauses it, and it fixed the poop problem, which was the DM 20 poops far too frequently. And that's something I actually skipped out on because I thought it was just, and it was marketed as such, it would be this, the exact same as the 2017 release DM20. But in fact it wasn't, it had those quality of life improvements, so I skipped out on it, which I've been regretting ever since. It's one of the few things that I'm missing, and it's fairly expensive to come by now, so it could be a Ver Revival reissue, kind of want it to be that, but something I also kind of think it might be, and I'm hoping it might be, is that it could be something that I'm calling the Digital Monster Progress. And what that would be is that it is what the DMX was to the Pendulum X, but it is a it is the Pendulum Progress sequel. So Pendulum X obviously has a pendulum, you shake it, shake, 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 it has the little shake, shake, pendulum. Mon Mon Pendulum kind of functionality there. I'm not even drinking, but I'm struggling over my words, so let's open this. So, while the Pendulum X was uh, continued in the form of the DMX, which is a brick, I don't know how Alex does it. How does one talk and drink at the same time, just pause every so often and think, hang on, I forgot that I had another thing to do. So, if it's a sequel to the Pendulum Progress, but in the form of a brick, uh, so in the same way that the DMX was the sequel to Pendulum X, so like a smaller screen without the pendulum inside it to give it the shaking, if it's that. And the reason I say that is because it's about time for the Pendulum Progress's anniversary, and also because we also see a D-scanner silhouette, which had functionality with the original Pendulum Progress in the form of jogressing. Now, in regards to the D-scanner silhouette itself, I kind of hope that it's not a D-Scan of the, I guess at this point, 20th. We didn't get a Ver 15th for the D-Scanner like we did for the D-Arc, D3 and original Digivice. So it would make sense to have an anniversary version of it. However, the D-Scanner isn't fun. It is a barcode scanning collectathon. It is a Digimon version of the scanners. It is not fun. The only fun thing that it does is that you can connect it to your Pendulum Progress and Jogress, the Digimon that you have on your Progress, with your D-Scanner. And that's it. That's, that's the thing. So, what I'm kind of hoping that it is, is that I really hope it's actually a Super CSA. I feel like this would do really well as a Super CSA. I feel like it has a lot of mechanics from Digimon Frontier that could be incorporated well into a CSA or, a, or an SCSA. And considering we are having the DARC Super CSA release in just a few months, I feel like it could make sense to have another one come out too. But I'm not sure how that would function with this digital monster progress in the form of jogressing unless they have some special... NFC feature like how the DRC CS Super CSA has little cards that you can use with the NF with NFC to have different animations appear. I'm not sure. There could be something really cool there to have that functionality, but it could also just be an anniversary release like the Ver 15th DRC D3 and Digivice, and just with that Jogress functionality. However, people are saying, what if it is the uh, Pendulum Progress Ver 20th? I don't, I think they would use the silhouette of the Pendulum Progress. Bandai has not used incorrect silhouettes for any of these coming soons. They've always used the silhouette of whatever's coming, as far as I'm aware at least. So I'm kind of expecting it to be a Digital Monster Progress. I'm hoping that's a Digital Monster Progress. Very inconvenient to take a sip. I'm, just, I'm not a ventriloquist. So... Yeah, I I would prefer it in brick form, actually. Like, I actually said this as a joke a little bit ago, like, uh, it, it was in, over Discord in one of the servers I'm in, and I was like, okay, monkey paw is activated, pendulum progress version 20th comes out, 
but it's in the form of a brick. <laughs> and I, that was a joke, but the more I think about it, I'm like, no, this, this could actually be really good. One of my issues with the Pendulum Progress original, or I guess it's the only one at the time of this video, hopefully, is that the shake counts are far too high and far too precise. You have to shake to, like, a very specific number of, like, 66 in some counts. And you have to... There's only enough time to get 66, but you have to shake it like this, and you have to count, and if you miss it, it's kind of really annoying. So it would be better if it was in the form of a brick, so you wouldn't have to shake it. But that's just me preferring bricks over pendulums, and that's a very unpopular opinion. A lot of people prefer the pendulums. I don't. I I mean, I like the Pendulum Z, how you can shake it this way, not this way. Really don't like doing this in public. I wonder why. But in any case, those are kind of my predictions about it. Again, we only have two silhouettes, which are the D-Scanner and a brick. And those are just what I predict those may be. Uh, the D-Scanner, I can see either way of it being a Super CSA or a, an anniversary, anniversary edition, because we didn't get an anniversary edition of it. Uh, the brick, yeah, I can't see it being anything other than a Ver 20th, sorry, a Ver Revival or a a Pendulum Progress or a Digital Monster Pendulum Progress or a Digital Monster Progress, probably the latter. Uh, and that's the basis on they are Bandai Japan, they're not Bandai US. Bandai US loves releasing the same thing over and over again. They're doing it with Tamagotchi with the Tamagotchi anniversaries. They're doing it with the Digital Monster 20ths and not releasing anything else new, just new little shells of them. So that's all the news that we have today. And now I'm going to unbox this and I guess finish my drink because I've only had half of it in my very large sips because, yeah, I, I need to take notes from Alex. Alex, how do you do this? Okie dokie, so time to open this. So as I mentioned, this is from Lonely Distance, who is a longtime supporter, friend, listener, audience member. I'm terrible. I, I was meant to open this, but I guess I've forgot one bit of sticky tape uh so yeah a long time supporter and friend of the show sent me this so that's exciting and i still have more sticky tape to uh there we go so what do we have we have most excitingly paper yes so we have a yorkaiser yep your this is a yorkaiser gekido I think that means, like, Illusion Road? Oh, oh Gekido version, so version. So, it's yeah, this is a Yorkaiser Gekido version. So, I don't... I have a... Oh, I can't remember the version that I have, but it is nowhere near as cool as this. This is a translucent blue one. So, for those who aren't aware, Yorkaiser is another uh, virtual pet kind of property, but this has got a... A digivice sort of mechanic to its pedometer virtual pet. I did. I think I did a very early video on on one very early in the channel. So I think I was looking at like gamified fitness because Pokemon Go was the new hotness. And uh, yeah, I don't remember much else because it was a long time ago. But I'll, maybe I'll rewatch that video for some cringe. And then we have some cool things in little baggy. So first we've got some things for the XL, which I'm one of the only people who actually enjoys the XL because I don't know, I just really like the rosters. I feel like it's probably got my favourite rosters out of all of the uh, the virtual pets. So we have these special limited edition face plates, which another thing I like about the XL is you can take off the face plate and you can either use these cool official cards that they released, or you can design your own. So we've got War Greymon, we've got Garurumon, and we've got Greymon. So that's cool. And we also have some of the DDP chips that came with the XL. So we've got Kentarismon, Darkdramon, Spinomon, uh, we've got Neptune Mon, we've got Maruki Mon, we've got uh, Valdemon, oh Valdemon, yeah, 
I keep on, I forgot his name, so I had to actually read. I'm not wearing my glasses. Uh, and we've got the Omega Blade, which is a weapon. So that's pretty cool. And we've also got one of the ones that came with the IC, uh, which works with the burst. And it's a Okashi box, so snack box. And it's uh, food. And then, most excitingly, I'm, I'm leaving the best to last, we have the Korean release of the Anode and Cathode Tamers game, which, as far as I remember, is in English. And if I had any any brains, I would have... Where is my Wonder Swan? This is me just trying to remember where I put my Wonder Swan. Is it accessible? Um, I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna pause the video, I'm just gonna walk five meters this way. And, uh, yep, it's accessible. Do you wanna play Are There Batteries? Oh, there are batteries. So, uh, I was going to back mod this at one point, uh, kind of, but I broke it. Uh, not this one, but my other one. Uh, my favorite thing about the, but and then I bought this one on the cheap, and sometimes. I have to like jimmy the game in. I'm gonna do the 90s kid thing of blowing it. It's only sometimes it. Oh, there we are. Yeah, I was gonna back mod it, but I broke it. Not this one, I broke another one. Though when I replace this, I replace it on the cheap, and as you can see, it's not super happy with. Uh, working. Which apparently it's just, I think maybe the batteries are flat. Or at least going that way. Oh, here we are. Press start button and it has A weird version of the English opening. So yeah, we've got Anode Tamer, Cathode Tamer, Continue. So yeah, it's in English. Input your name. And yep, it is it is the English game. So that is pretty cool. I've only ever played this in Japanese. So it is pretty nice to finally have it. So thank you so much, Lonely Distance. Uh, this is something that I never thought I would actually get my hands on. So I kind of like... Put it aside of like, I'll never get that, so I don't have to worry about it existing. So, uh, yeah, now I have it. And uh, maybe one day I'll work out how to make my Wonder Swan color always start up. It's, it's fine once it has the game in, like it'll work perfectly now. But for some reason when I first put in a game, I kind of had to shake it around for a little bit. So... Yeah, so thank you so much for this wonderful gift of the paper. No, thank you so much for the gift of all of these chips and the... I, I just love the XL so much. It, it, the XL is my favourite and I love it so much. And the Yorkizer was a nice little surprise as well. Like, I, I'm, I might actually put batteries on this and run this because I love gamified fitness so much. And... It has like prongs at the top for memory and I actually have two of them now so that is really exciting. So thank you so much for this wonderful gift, it means so much to me and I, sorry that I had to tack it on to the end of a news video because I just wanted to release one video so thanks for that. And yes, I do still have the drink from the start of the video. Uh, it is, I need to get better at drinking and doing videos, it's really hard. But I didn't knock this over, almost did a few times. But in any case, that's that video. So let me know in the comments everything, your thoughts about all the news, what your predictions are for the D-Scanner and for the Brick. Uh, let me know your thoughts about the Accelerator. The Accelerator haters will be ignored. I only have time for Accelerator uh, love in, 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 in this YouTube channel. But in any case, thanks for watching this video. Love it. If you are an XL supporter or even if you just think that they're cool, I do want to do a video on them at one point. I've done a few various videos and reviews, but I would like to do a full one at some point. Let me know what you think about that in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.